Hey, what's going on guys? It's April here today, and we are going to be taking a look at good spots on pretty much every single map to where you can get mounted kills. There may be some places that you know about, but I guarantee there will probably be some that you also don't even think about going to, everything like that. I'm going to be skipping through as I do it, so each one will be labeled while I'm on each certain map, everything like that. These will not include the new maps that came out. If you want to see a video on that, leave me a comment down below. I will cover those as well, but this is going to be for the other typical maps that we see. There's going to be no face cam for it just didn't really feel like it today but i'm sure that's not going to bother you guys but before we get into it if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by my name is april i do best class setup videos i do tips and tricks videos i make a ton of stuff call of duty related so if you're into that kind of thing check out the content and maybe maybe consider subscribing if you like it we are on the road to a thousand right now getting pretty close to 200 and it would mean the world to me if you subscribe but that is entirely up to you I did make a video covering areas to go for long shots, so if you want to see that, it'll pop up in the top right hand corner as a little card right now. And I made a second video covering the brand new maps on that as well, so that'll be up right after that one. But we're going to go ahead, I'm going to go in and hop into custom matches, and we are going to start taking a look at the maps. Before we get into the maps and everything, one little quick thing that I wanted to add is that I highly recommend that you use deployable cover, because wherever you go, if you throw this thing down, you can mount anywhere. You just have to make sure you can deploy it. That'll give you a lot more options as far as mounted kills go instead of just running around but on we go to the maps these are only going to be 6v6 maps i'm not going to do anya incursion i hope i said that right i probably didn't i'm not going to do that one because really you have a bunch of doorways and everything like that just post up in doorways and, and mount to the side that's really all you can do on this map or post up and one of the windows looking outside that's all i recommend and since it's just that i'm not going to put this map in the video we are going to start with azir cave so let's hop in so some of these will be the same spots as you would go for for long shots, everything like that. You can come up here and mount right here and probably catch people coming around, but it's going to be pretty limited. And when you're doing this, obviously, it's going to be a little bit campy because you're having to stay still and mounted. You come out to this truck and get this window here, or this door, it's not a window. This door right here as well, catch people going into rug shop and around it. Or you can come up here to this little area, just like with long shots, post up right here, same thing. And you can actually work on long shots in most of these too, so it's just a bonus. Honestly, if you want to, you can come into the building, post up on any sort of window or anything like that. And from this side, you can just look the other way by hopping in a building like this right here. You'll want to probably get a little bit of a sneaky spot because ultimately they're going to be watching for you once you post up. Again, that goes with the camping situation that you're going to have to do for mounted kills. So feel free to just run around and switch between spots every now and then. That way you don't have people just coming at you nonstop and trying to sneak behind you. But you have a lot of good lines of sight from over here as well. Even from the side of this building, if anybody goes in, you can see them or over to the corner right there. And likewise, on this side, you can post up here, wait for people to come through, kind of like on the other side. You can even use the side of the truck coming this way. Likewise, coming behind here, you can get mounted kills from right there can actually shoot the objects off so that you can see there so that that's not a problem. Even right here, if you want to use this post, you can post up and watch the outside right there if you, oh, if you have your teammates with you. Just really any window or door that you can get in, you'll be able to mount it and you can try to just practice going and as soon as, like, whenever you're clearing a room, you can go through it like that, get them a little bit easier. But you can also come over here to the outpost west, is what it says, and you can watch these buildings for people coming around this long way. Or right up here, watching this building and everything. You can't really, if you aim it right, you can watch this corner too, but you have to be careful of where you are, otherwise you will get caught to where you can't move, kind of like that. And then vice versa for the other side. Every time that I'm mounted up and I'm looking at an area, that area is another good place where you can do the exact opposite. All right, on to the next map. Next is going to be Gonza Raid. Okay, so from this side, if you spawn in here, if you come up into the building, kind of like when you're getting long shots, you can mount to the side. And that's typically what I do. I get long shots and mounted kills at the same time. You can see a lot through this area, get your mounted kills. You just don't have to worry about distance whenever it's just mounted kills and everything like that. And vice versa from over there, you can do the exact same thing, I'm sure. Just mount on the side of the wall down there, or on where it's on the bottom there since it has a little bit of an area down here. Like this one doesn't have one down below, so you have to do the side. Even this window, behind this crate, anything like that, it'll lock you into a certain field of view where you can't actually go outside of that. And people can get around you with that and they will take you out. That's why I highly recommend going and switching areas pretty often, pretty often. 
Even right down here where you can kind of see through the middle if you don't have anybody on your sides, you can watch this whole area from this crate right here. Same thing with those crates or that wall. Anything like that, you will be able to do it. If you're looking for an area kind of down the middle to be able to do this, you're gonna want a wall like this so you can see down mid. This one too. You can watch that window up there. Be able to pop that window for mounted positions. It's just remembering to get into a mounted position while you're trying to get kills and moving around. Likewise here, you can watch up there. Get outside of this building. Watch up top here or from that window. Any window you should be able to do. So I'm gonna test that and make sure. Just make sure you're crouched and you can mount. Same thing. See somebody coming up down below, you can pop up on this. Just anywhere you go, just try to stick next to something that you can be mounted on. Say you're coming around a corner and you see somebody pop to it, right there. If you're able to, you're gonna wanna try to listen a little bit. It's really easy in this game and people use it all the time. So just use it to your advantage. That way you can time it before somebody comes around or whatever have you. Same thing, you can get in a window like this and be able to mount. Oh, you're able to get kills all the way down the middle. And you can even actually, with this one, look over here to this side. You just can't watch all the way to that left window there. Pop to the other side, you can watch this way. Get a little bit there. All of this middle area is clear. Everything like that, you'll be able to see a lot. Get good mounted kills. And that's really all of it for this map. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the next one. Now this one may be a little bit difficult. I'm gonna try to find some places, but I don't think I normally go for mounted kills on this one. I normally try to stick to certain maps. Like with the long shots, if you hop up here to this spot, if I can actually get it. Oh my God, there we go. Okay, and you come around to this corner, instead of going all the way around, you can still mount here and it'll also make your recoil less while you're working on those. And you can actually come up here to this stack as well, crouch down. Get mounted kills if you can see anybody over here. You can actually watch up here too, but you cannot go past that. And if you hop up here on this one as well, if you crouch down, you can watch this way, middle. You don't get a very good line of sight over to the right, but just pay attention to where people are. It won't be a problem. And of course, there are always the cheeky spots like back here that people love to go to for this, where you can just watch this lane, watch anybody coming by and get there on any of these carts more than likely, though these ones that actually have the stuff in them, it'll be harder to see. But if you can't get a good line of sight, you can always come over to these barrels like this. And watch there. You can even do it on this one right here if you hear somebody coming through this middle building in the boiler room. If you're checking a corner over here, you can pop up on this ledge. Use this barrel to look down lane right here. If you come around and you're checking it, everything you want to see up top, you can mount right here. In case anybody's camping up top there. So you'll want to be a little bit to the side there to be able to do that. This would be a very open area though, so that would be as you're running through if you just happen to pop up on somebody at the right time. You can even do it here looking through this doorway or turn the corner. Same thing right here to look this way. God forbid you camp though. Mounting kills kind of causes you to camp, so you could presumably have one person here and then one person at this door and you could be watching both entrances, you just have to be careful about down there. As well, if you get right on this little corner, you can watch this way, come to this box right here. For those of you that don't know, if you're standing next to something and you see this little icon right here, these two dots or these two lines, they're not dots, that means that you can mount it. So there are a lot of places where you can actually mount at. Like, I'm, I know you can mount, the, there it is. Everything like that. You can mount every corner of that box. You could come up here on the side of this crate, come over here, look this way. Say you're coming through here, pop over to the corner, catch somebody going through. If you use this rock to get up here, you can use this crate looking this way, say somebody's in that window, or this way, coming right here. Even come around to the back side, kind of watch. I know you can do it. You'd have to get right here, and it would only be in this left corner. You can't go any further than this line right here where this tree is. But you have some pretty good spots where you can get them from up here. Likewise, in this middle building, you can do the same thing here to watch the showers. Watch to the right, watch to the left. Just be mindful of people coming behind you, but if somebody does, you can pop in back here. Got a lot of- you have a lot of places to do mountain kills. You just gotta be mindful of it. That's gonna do it for that one. And next is gonna be Hackney Yard. So we're starting out on this side. One place you could always go if you're on this side is the back of this van, because somebody normally pokes up right there at the beginning of the match trying to get the first blood. You can even go right here to watch these doors, everything on this side of the map. Switch over here to get that again. If you're coming back around the spawn, you hear somebody coming. Get right here, you'll cover all of this area, even this door right here. If you come up into the building, you can actually mount right here and catch anybody in this window right here. And a lot of people like to go there. You'll also be able to see this area here. 
poking around the corner looking at either the top or the left here you can get on these crates like that know somebody's up top right here you can mount right here just try to do it fast because if they get a beat on you before you get focused all the way around it could be a problem and of course likewise if you're looking this way down at that spawn you can mount right here on the window make yourself a harder target or look on the inside if somebody's coming through and if you're down here in the middle you can just come over to this area right here this is typically another good spot to get your first bloods or catch somebody right off the rip and you have this entire line of sight in front of you over to this side of this barrel you can kind of get up there but if you move over a little bit you'll have a better beat on that as well and you'll have more room right here so anywhere along this will be good and even if you're up here and somebody just happens to come around after you've moved off of it you can come here do the same thing always use doorways when you're going through buildings because you could be right here when somebody comes through it's the same thing for this window looking down whenever anybody comes off spawn here switch to the other one you can see this other side all the way to the back line of this truck. Got a pretty wide range of view there, but if somebody just happens to be over a little bit more, you're, you're not gonna be able to get them if you're mounted. Even right here watching this way, or vice versa watching this way, but this one is very limited on where you would be able to hit them at. Right here, catching people as they're coming through. And if you're on this side, you can hop up here, catch anybody coming around up on the top there, down low here. In this window you can even get this window right here which some people tend to go to that door maybe somebody down low but i don't think that would really work so i just have to be kind of in this middle area right here and you can come over to this one as well mount right here it's a little bit more restricted but it is an option if you want to do that the back of it as well for a better angle over here just depends on where you're wanting to look and where everybody tends to be going because every match is going to be different with that and you just have to play it by how people are actually playing and on this side in this back spawn you can come up into the side building mount right here look at this all the way over here any of this area you will be good this would actually probably be a pretty good spot if people are playing into it in the middle area likewise on the side that we spawned at you can get up in this window right here and do the same thing which i'm gonna do right now as soon as i can get up here just make sure you're mounting whenever you're doing this. You can do this while you're going for long shots. I, I've said it, and I promise you it's a good spot to go to. They Most of the places will work just the same. You just have to remember to mount. It just has to have a side or a bottom area that you can crouch down and mount on. That's really going to do it for this map. All right, we are on Piccadilly now, and we are on this side. If you want to look down the middle, you're probably going to need the top of this car. You can kind of see underneath the scaffolding there, or you can move up to this little barricade down the middle shots catch somebody coming right here you can always go right here you can also come up on this little orange thing on the other side watch this way you can use the side of that window but that is typically a spot where if you're going for long shots and things up there you're not gonna want to remain in one spot because you will end up getting sniped out of it and if you're still right here with this by the way you can also come in here catch anybody that's in this area this does go to this doorway over here in this area if you go further on this side you can always get right here look right there and up here everything like that and if you're on this side you can use a vehicle like this one and you can mount right here watching people come from that spawn you hear somebody coming around in this little entrance right here you can pop on this car or on this door this little walkway it's not really a door if you're coming through here and you have somebody say right there you can pop up here watch that bus come over here so you can destroy this plant right here and kind of get yourself a line of sight down right here but you're really limited especially even further back so you'd probably want to be right here just waiting for them to show up so apparently you can't do it from that one but if you come to this one you can kind of mount up right there but you're really kind of limited too you could follow them all the way if they keep running at you but they might switch to the other side so you'll just have to mount there and from the spot you can see here everything flip back to right here for in between the buses on this one by this catch somebody coming out of here you can mount on this it does limit you to right there though can pop on this to get the other side it's really all the areas i can think of any doorways things like that you'll know because it'll show you on there i think that's really going to do it for this map so we're going to hop to the next one okay so next is going to be ramaza naturally if you spawn on this side you can hop up here get on these sandbags be able to catch anybody coming through this area or over here in this little corner you will probably end up getting beamed from here because people will come back to challenge you. And if you hop down from here, come along the back, go to the other side. Anytime you're going through, just make sure you're on the edge of something like this, where you can pop in. Coming around this corner, pop this way. And if you want to get a long line of sight, I would say this wall is going to be your best bet. But people do know to look there. 
they normally do if they're looking for first blood. Say you're coming up, you can pop this real quick for anybody coming through there. Or just run your way all the way to the wall, catching people at a spawn coming this way. And if you're looking this way for someone to come by, you can also be back here in this little bit of a corner. It gives you a little bit more protection. But again, people are going to come back for you. I cannot stress that enough. From up here, if you want to challenge somebody at the sandbags, you can come right here. Flip to this wall for anybody right there. Or a little bit further over, if you want to catch people up in this little campy spot. If you want to catch people down low on this side, you can either be inside in that window or out here. Catch them coming out of spawn. And if you're on the side of construction in the rug shop, you can get people down here or whoever decides to go up to the very, very top. And say you're on the bridge, you can come through here. And if you hear somebody coming out this door, you can be right here. It will also reach over here in case somebody runs from the other side. And if you're also over here, you can follow it around to this little ledge to catch people running back behind if you hear them. And if you climb up top, this is going to be one where you have to be on the side right here and you will lose some of your line of vision but it is doable if they continue across say you're inside the building you can actually mount on this to catch people coming through this back way and running back here always use these cinder blocks if you hear somebody coming up you can also kind of get back here as well to get a good line of sight down the middle scoot over even more and you can get this doorway and if you're in the middle and you run up to this building and you say you can also get in this room mount to watch right here but you can't get that left one swap over you can see people up here down here all this area and i think that's gonna do it for this one so we are on to our last i believe three maps okay so we are on shipment now and as you all know shipment is chaotic so you're probably not gonna be able to stay in one place very very long but if you can find one of these places with barrels it's a very good spot especially if you can catch people spawning in on that specific side almost every corner has these like that one over there does you can do the same thing, you just have to pay attention to where the spawning is and where your teammates are and where they're going to cause people to spawn. Just like on that side, you can look this way, alternate. This one has the dumpster on it, so it's not very good. The one that I typically go to is going to be this one right here. Because this is one of the spawn points right down there, at least part of the way through the game. I know it, I don't think it's one of the beginning ones. I think one team starts over here and then one team starts over in that corner. But once the game starts going and it gets chaotic, if you can stay here, you can go over and watch this side, and that's a very good side to be at. Ultimately, as well, you can switch over here to catch people before they get behind the dumpster or vice versa going that way. You can even come up and watch these barrels, but you will eventually when doing this, especially on this map, you are going to have somebody come up behind you. So it's better to be kind of in one of these corner areas and just pay attention and listen for people coming up to your side. Knowing where your teammates are during this one, especially on this map, is very, very important. And we're going to go to the next one. Okay, so now we're on shoot house and we're on this side. So we spawn on this side, so you can come up here to this automatically and watch for people coming that way, or on this side for getting your mana kills. You can also come up here to this little area to watch this, but you have a little bit less of a line of sight, so I recommend that back one. You also won't have anybody running behind you, and you can actually see pretty well down this way if you know that's where they're probably going to be at. You can also come up here, watch this little area where people like to run through or get behind that car like they normally do. And you can as well be back here in the same thing, but you'll get a better line of sight there. Pro tip for people wanting to do this, eventually they're going to get behind that car, it's going to be hard to hit them. So what you want to do, or if you get back in the back corner, you'll actually be able to see right here and they won't know that you were there. If you want to catch people coming over the middle, you can mount right here, watching those red crates. You can mount along any wall in the middle, but the middle is typically watched by snipers on both teams for some reason. I don't know. That is a spot that you can go for your mana kills on both sides down the middle. But if you come to this area right here, you're going to be contesting the snipers and everything like that. People with probably longer range weapons. So depending on what gun you're using, it won't matter, but do that at your own will. If you have somebody camping in office, I recommend coming down through the middle right here. Going to this little corner, you can mount here and watch the office windows. If you're coming around this corner right down here below office, people always run through here so you can mount up right there. You will get cut off right here though. And of course, as you're further back, even coming along when you're first starting the match or any really any time you run through it, you can mount back here and watch for people. You can mount right here to kind of see up in the windows if somebody's camping up there. Came out right here and look down the middle to watch people coming along that side. Mount this corner to look into the spawn as you're coming around. These barrels too for this back set. So you can mount on either side of this to look the other way. This kind of gets in the way. It's not a big deal. You can still kind of see over to the side here. You can also come to this crate right here for a good angle or right here for people coming right down that line. You can mount the edge of this vehicle, but typically if you're right here and you catch somebody, you're gonna wanna go through the vehicle with that. So that's not the best one, but it's doable. As you're coming through junkyard, you can come over here too. 
looking down this way like most people do. Mount right out here on the edge of this for this line of vision, opposite, like I said before. Mount right here if you hear somebody down the middle coming up. Mount right here, same thing. And like I said, all of these areas, it's the exact opposite of where I look. You can do the exact same thing. So any of those areas will work and we're going on to the next map. All right, so we are on St. Petrograd now. We're gonna hop up here. You won't have much of a line of sight, but you can mount right here for if anybody tries to get up there. Kind of the same with long shots. A lot of these are. And if you're going around the back of the spawn, you want to catch somebody coming up. You can do that here. You can also mount on this menu sign, but be careful of where you are. That way you're the least exposed as possible. And any of the buildings with windows, like the hazmat building or the restaurant that I'm in right now, you can mount on the sides of the windows, down on the windows, anything like that to get your mounting kills while you're looking out. If you come over to this far window, you have a pretty good line of sight on anybody coming through this outside area or in the back there too, as well as windows in the middle, everything like that, and vice versa for hazmat. If you're down here and you're running through like this, you can mount up right here if you hear somebody coming. And also right here, you can do the same thing on the side of hazmat. And if you've got somebody down here up there, you can mount right here. So long as they peek you, you'll be able to hit them just fine. Or maybe if you're trying to catch somebody out of the spawn back here, you can also look all the way over here too. You can also use this little edge for this area right here. Honestly, even coming out of spawn, you can use stuff like lamppost. Like you, you have a lot of options, so you can do that even right here. Because some people like to try to spawn trap. You can use this right one to look this way, this one for this way, all that typical stuff. Same windows up in hazmat. It'll just be looking opposite of the restaurant ones I showed earlier. Another good spot that you can get if you know people are coming through this little courtyard. Hop up here. You get a pretty good line of sight on that. Know somebody's coming by the buses. There's a bunch of little spots that you can go to for this, to be honest. Just any little area that you can get to. All right, that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it and leave a comment. If you didn't like it, definitely leave me a comment and tell me why you didn't like it and what you would like to see changed. If you wanna see more stuff like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as if you have anything particular that you wanna see, be sure to let me know what it is down below because I will be happy to do that for you guys. And as always, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Hopefully this helped and I will see you in the next video.